So, okay. Uh, so, this session is all about uh, community building and the challenges we all face. I'm Satyaka, I'm here. So, I've been living in communities for last, let's say, 20, 22, 25 years now. So I've formerly been, whatever my education is, thanks to the community. So, I feel a very strong, uh, you know, thanks and whatever you say, like, there is, though there's no words we can describe, you know, how much we have learned from every one of you and everyone we go through. So basically being human, right, like we as humans are the best when we start literally copying and learning, you know. So that's what my learning has been. Like I never got formally educated from anyone, but yeah. So user groups has been my kind of nursery from the day one, right. And I feel very strongly about being in community and see them prosper and grow because without them, the event which we see today, the PyCon, wouldn't have been possible without the team effort and the dedication. So one of the threads in the mailing list was, we are going to celebrate 10 years of bank pipers, and there are so much of learnings which we have gone through. And let's share all that. And let's hear from all the other user groups what are their you know, adventures in their journey, you know? How 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 are the golden days like we old people always talk in past, <laughs> and but lo lots of youngsters don't like that. But that's how it is. When they grow up, they will also to start talking like that. So the idea was to learn from each other and try to come to a consensus in the sense of how the good things were there. What are the projects we had? What were the learnings? And maybe we can start with you. Uh, I mean, start with the younger community. Yeah, yeah anyone. Uh, youngest one is, I think, uh, Hyderabad. Anyone here? I think Hyderabad was there for the past Not much. Delhi? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, historically, like, uh, Delhi Python user group was like, again, after we meeting in PyCon and one of the mailing lists, like bank papers were the only mailing list which we used to hang up. You know, six, seven years back, I remember Kenneth and everyone like saying, hey, you guys should do something. Like, that's how it starts actually, you know, practically. So you should do something. Okay, what do we do? Like, call for meetings, like then have a mailing list. You know, that's how we started and uh, on and off, we have been having our own golden days, like uh, where people almost 60, 70 people turned up for some meetups. And uh, we had our own uh, ups and downs, like uh, every time we say that, okay, we well, let's do something big, it, it just falls back. Like, you know, like the, the biggest challenges has been the continuation of the energy. I call it energy because without energy, nothing can happen. I don't know. Like, and in the energy in the sense it's not about shouting and you know it's it's about the constant force you know that force which which we all are empowered with and we are all connected because of that you know that's the common cause the cause of python and the sense of belonging so we started very small with, with ad hoc kind of meetups uh, where we formed a user group, then you know we started managing, and then one point in time it came like managing the mailing list itself, like even the admin access. Like the one of the first things we faced were like, how do we stop this spams? Right, you know, a lot of people just joined to just announce their jobs. That's it. So things started happening, and this year at least formally we have some structure in place now where we have a team of dedicated 10 to 15 faces who regularly have meetups every 15 days. Like, I think this is the only user group now which almost six to eight meetups have happened so far. And uh, regular topics like, right, right, like Akshay is a Kiwi core contributor. Our Saurabh is there who contributes to Django and Cookie Cutter. So contributing a lot of things. And this summer, like, uh, my my one more soft corner I have thing, or like, I want to teach student kids, like Ajit, Ajit, where is Ajit here? Yeah, so that's the common thing, you know, uh, itch we have, you know, ki, why not, like, there is so much of Python goodness is there. So, so we, I started just in my school 
kid, you know. So they were having this summer training program. So the, the teacher asked us, you know, can you do something about it? So we came out with a program known as Pi Chill. You know, we called it Pi Chill because it was Python and it was summer and we wanted to name it very fancy. <laughs> so it was, yeah. So we did it for almost five days, every day two hours. And it was not much, but we mixed and matched of science, education, Python with open data and things like that. So it went pretty well, like we covered around 60 to 80 people. Uh, and uh, we were dot, everything was volunteer driven. All eight to 10 people turned up, everything is documented. If you go to pydelli.org slash pychill, you will get, or phosphoseevents.in, yeah. So that is one thing, and now there are bigger goals set by themselves. <laughs> Ki let's have a small conference or something. So those are the things happening, and again, the uh, things which we failed or we are not able to pinpoint is get a location to have regular meetups. That is one biggest problem. I think everyone will agree with me here. That is one thing, and next thing is, yes, the change of the generation, like the people, every time we get new faces coming in, so there is no continuation of the thought or the idea, you know, because they are never exposed to an event like PyCon, they, d they have no clue what we are talking about. So that, that, those are the challenges right now we are facing, and uh, hopefully we'll do better this year, yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Shiva. My full name is Shiva Subramania Marunachalam, it's pretty long. Uh, to be honest, I'm the proxy guy, okay? The guy who organized it, the guy who started is not here, so they were running around, they are the lead volunteers. So let me start with the questions. What happens if the lead volunteers is not there to organize a community event? It could be a conference, or it could be a meetup, or it could be an workshop, or it could be just, you know, just, you know, meet people over the cup coffee day. So what will happen if the lead volunteer is not there? Okay, let's say there is a volunteer here, and uh, let's say because of his uh, profession in nature, he relocated to different city in the same country, or he traveled to a different country, or because of family reasons, you know, he is not ready to spend much time as before. So, what will happen after that? So, let me put a lot of questions which we really faced. It. The guy who started 10 years before, you know, I was doing my schools or college at the time, so I was actively participating in maybe past three, four years. So, that guy is not coming to the meetup anymore. The guy who really started it and running for a couple of years. So what would have been happened? Okay, any any guesses? Any? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So it it won't eventually die. It will become inactive. Okay. So. Uh, the guy will be still there, and, you know, somewhere else, and he is, you know, trying to get someone else to run the community. But let's define what is community. Yeah. First, the community means what? Who are all part of it? Yeah, there is a two different words, right? So when I talk to my company where I employed, so they will talk. They don't talk about community. They will talk about ecosystem. Let's say, uh, let's say we have a new product to develop, and uh, there are a couple of choices I can choose Python, Java, maybe .NET, Ruby, there could be a number of, uh, you know, higher level languages are there. So which one I should choose? So they will talk about ecosystem. We are talking about community. So what is the difference between these two? Both are related. Define what is ecosystem means. Ecosystem is something like, okay, there is a programming language, so who are all part of it? So we are developers, we are part of it. So there are corporates, so they are the consumers. Uh, so who make decisions whether we can use that and they should have a job. So when they put up the job uh, or they want to choose this particular programming language, there should be enough developers. Okay, so if you want to make so much developers, you start from the college. So it's, it's, it's like a circle. Okay, so you have to connect all the dots together to create an ecosystem. If one part or one piece of an ecosystem is not good, so the entire ecosystem will be shaken. Okay, so that's what, you know, if you, even if you read a lot of uh, articles about, you know, Python, so I read it uh, somewhere maybe a year before, so 
there is a big uh, software service company in india so he got a, they got a pretty big projects to do they need something like a thousand plus python good quality developers they couldn't do so <laughs> they have switched to us or something like that so in times of india somewhere else i just read it so so it's it's about the community will make the ecosystem sustainable so let's come to the community so we help each other okay so uh, so what we do as a part of a bank papers is we meet every third week saturday okay so there will be volunteers so they will make sure that things are in so they will talk to the venue sponsor they will talk to the speakers the, they will put up all the schedules and everything will happen and it's a community right it's about you know they have to take care of registration so there are a lot of fun things so whenever we there are 4000 plus members are there in the bank papers community so we also manage a focused community like you know bangalore jangai group there are 2000 people so we don't do it often but the moment you put up a any meetup either it could be a workshop or it could be a talk you know the notification will be sent out to 4000 plus people okay so you know if you are saying that you know the attendance is you know not limited so anyone can come any number of people can come you know how many people say rsvp 100 plus sometimes it will go to 200 plus okay you know how many people actually turn up it's a random guesses it's a random guess okay then how do you manage the logistics okay there is a venue sponsor okay you have to tell them these many people are going to come some companies will have a very strict security rules okay you have to give them their list of names and email IDs. they will actually ask you to bring your you know government id card they will check all these things okay they will say that sir we need to we are planning to provide goodies t-shirts or we want to arrange all the chairs tables. if it is an workshop we need a chairs and tables we need to put proper power sockets we need to order the lines okay so how do you this is the problem which we are still facing we have nailed it down a bit okay so any any uh, suggestion for it you cannot say that you know uh, the one thing is that if you want to have a you know, if you want to make people to be more responsible you say that you pay 100 rupees now 200 will come to 20 okay so in, in a community you are not expecting a professionals to come okay i have seen in my past three four years a nine year old kid came and maybe I just met an old man. Obviously, he should be 50 plus. So he was sitting in one of my workshops and he was trying to code. Like he says, 25 plus years of experience of doing something. Obviously, he should be 50 at this moment. So, so how do you encourage all these people to come to your, uh, you know, the talks or meetups, what you do? The content has to be good. To be good. Good means what? You will get a beginner. You will get an intermediate guy, you will get an advanced guy, you will get a kid, you will get an old man. Make it diverse. Make it diverse. Okay, a single co topic cannot be diverse. How many topics you can handle in a day? That means, okay, that means, let's say, we will put a three topics. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. You are calling 100 people. Okay, so other two topics, Let's say a beginner comes and this intermediate advanced is doesn't have any meaning for him. He just simply started all these things and get bored. Interactive won't solve the problem. So I just came from uh, you know the talk from RD1 talking about all this uh, meta programming and all. Maybe I'm a kind of intermediate guy. I can able to relate, but if you are a student or a beginner, okay. okay so, so someone was mentioning about if the lead volunteers is not that it's eventually going to die or make inactive in 2013 i think we had a pike on here uh, so immediately after that i think it's a november month or something uh, we had a regular bank papers meetup in uh, zomaha i guess so elvis was volunteering that you know how many people actually turned up it was just eight people so you know, after Pika and we all you know pumped up, right? So we should go and we should do a lot of things. But actually, just eight people turned up. Okay, so me and Chris, uh, so he's one of the volunteers who manages for past two years. So live close by. So we, you know, met over the weekend, and uh, he was talking about Shiva. This is what happened. 
he was talking to a lot of other people as well. So that means there are people out there, okay, they are not ready to come to the meetup. Why? Because of all these problems, the content matters. But if you provide a beginner content, that one okay, won't come. Okay, if you just do talks, a guy who doesn't know about anything about Python, how will happen? So you, in the talk, you are not going to say that you know use uh, this API, that API. You are going to talk about your experiences. But you should know the basics of your programming. Maybe normal py core Python, scientific Python, Python in the web. Okay, so uh, uh, maybe two months before, so two to three months before, so we had an, an an workshop, a talk plus kind of an workshop. Something like 80 people turned out. We are expecting 60 people. There are 80 people turned out. I think it was happened in Akame. So I was sitting at the reception. Whoever comes after 10:30 saying that, in the humble manner, sorry, the place got filled up. You know, some people say it's okay, they will go. Some people say that I am ready to stand and listen. Okay, so there were no places. Okay, so th it was kind of a this place. So we put a lot of chairs to the people are sitting there. So that's the highest count we had so far. So in two years, it was eight people, and there are 80 people coming here. So did we do an online marketing or a digital marketing? Okay, so the only thing what we really did is there are eight people. So it's about community means it's about you know the same people no need to come. The old people should go. The new people should come. They should take care of the community. So what we did is there are a lot of requests you know coming in to the meetup messages. You know if you open our meetup app, so we'll get a personalized message. Right, all the organizations say that can you tell me how to do this in Python? It's like instead of going and asking the question in the Stack Overflow, people will come and ask you in the meetup. They will send a personalized message. Okay, so then we decided that okay, let's do the beginners workshops. Let's bring, let's take the new people to the community. So then we started having only workshops, no talks. Only workshops. It, the workshops for, goes for full day. We'll start at ten and it'll end up with three thirty or four with one hour lunch break. Okay, so this we did it for a couple of months. Then we started the lot of pe repetitive people are coming. We never repeated the content. That's why the same people comes to the next meetup as well. We will take a different topic. Even if you are taking the same topic, we'll try to do with a different speaker with his own style of doing it. Simple thing is that, you know, so we do a Django workshops in bank paper. So I do it, someone else do it, Chris used to do it, there is a guy called Harris, he used to do it. So people will do it in their own style, even though it is interrupted. We did the same thing for Python. Okay. So this is one part. So you can do a lot of variety. You have to make things interesting. You have to do a lot of workshops so that people will come and learn. So Anand is one among them. So he was like that small guy, you know, who comes in. So, so he is, you know, uh, so when we both are not there, so he's the one he's going to take it off. It's about people come, learn, he use it in the job, and they are coming back to the community for contribution. They are taking the lead. If Someone is not there, so someone we are building the next people to, you know, <coughs> take care of it. Maybe Kushal Andal knows, you know, how they have did it for DBG, DG plug for a long time. If he is not there, so what will happen? He has a group of people. He has a group of people, yeah. yeah. He, he, the moment, you know, today evening he, he can go out, he might not be able to cross the road, maybe he might be hit by BMTC bus. <laughs> that happened to me also. Anyone? Yeah. It's okay. So the other part is to find out the speakers. People will come, learn, awesome, rockstar developers. But you should give back to the community. Thanks. So if you are representing a you know yeah company who uses any kind of open source, or if you are a developer, you you are making a living out of all these open source stuff. Please, please try to give back to the community. Okay. So I work, my full-time job is to do something on this open source tools. I make, I help my company to make products and sell it, make profits. They are paying me the salary. It's a, again, it's an ecosystem. So that money is, go, I'm going to feed my parents, my family, you know, my wife, my kid, all that. So it's, 
it's you are getting a benefit of someone else work so please acknowledge that and please take to give back to the community so that's what again so there are a lot of things you know all the conflicts and you know uh, logistic issues so if you have any specific things you can catch me offline or any one volunteers office so we can happy to share our experience and how we nailed it yeah that was great insight from shiva what's your name your name ram session so we have some insight from pune chennai chennai anyone here we we've been dead and alive about three times now so we died three times and we've come back alive so right now chandan is taking out the lead and doing a lot of stuff in pune which is really good like uh, before that i did something there was somebody else before me who did something uh, <coughs> our problem is not space our problem is getting people to come and talk that is the biggest problem that i faced like i had to go behind people and say please come and talk about something you know anything in python come and talk uh, you could do a one on one you could give a real serious or uh, uh, like a real high level talk or do whatever like just come and talk uh, i did manage to get a few people uh, depending on what the topic was the response used to vary but that's an on and off kind of thing uh, but now what chandan is doing is that he's getting a lot of workshops done like you know like he mentioned it and workshops are actually getting people to come down and do something uh i i really don't know the numbers as to what's the high and low of of now but uh would we get about 30 people on an average, on an average yeah, 30 people are there are also, yeah. yeah 30 to 40 people is standard now yeah so yeah so we so that's how we we had a problem there uh, hopefully chandan is going to take it up and make sure that <laughs> it continues for a longer time what is so that? I guess Pune is just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can speak myself because I am in Pune. Yeah, but uh, most of the events, uh, time I don't go if it is not near to my place. I'm just lazy. I can speak just about myself. I'm just too lazy to get out of my house and like you know go to the meet if it is way too far from my house. So even though it's a Python Pune meet up, I don't go just because it's Saturday and I just want to sit down and maybe work on something. But that's from the python pune side but yeah if it is somewhere nearby i just i prefer love to go come but uh, only 34 30 or 40 people are turning out means what's happening so it depends on lot of factors in bangalore maybe the weather okay or maybe the band so here we have so often okay or a, is there any other meet up which is happening on the same day and uh, the location and uh, you know it, it you said you know let's say that me and nina satya said okay let's go together let's say last moment i dropped out he will also won't come <laughs> it's you know when i ask people why you did rsvp last time why did you came means you will get lot of strange reasons it depends you know is the n number of factors okay so for this place what we do is we actually try to keep it in the center of the city so in bangalore so if you know about bangalore so we'll try to keep it in this outer ring road to the inner ring road so that's it only one exception is so we'll go to z omega so uh, if byju was there so they are supporting us for very long time so we'll just there the other side but it's not so far okay so but you have to tell them you know uh, some companies won't give you a parking also lot of people won't come people who have four wheelers you know in one meet up the speaker was outside the not because of the company it's it park there are you know let's say there are 20 30 companies are there you have to come one kilometer inside that guy said that so we won't allow the parking so you need to park outside and you need to go the speaker was calling me and asking you know sure what is this you have to take care of all this so <coughs> you have to give a proper map location even if you give a proper map location someone will call me bot bus i need to catch to come to the location i am on this spot maybe i might not know that part of the bangalore itself okay so you will get lot of calls you are you are about to do the speaker introduction let's say you are starting at 10 o'clock so you will waiting calls saying that okay i am standing outside so how can i come so a lot of things so you need to have someone else to take care of all the calls and to talk about it so in terms of a place we don't have much problems we have awesome comp 
companies who supports us whenever we ask for revenue so they're ready to give it so we try to keep it in the center of the city so that you know it's publicly accessible with the public transport all your two wheelers and four wheelers whatever really it's like 30 kilometer radius the city is and uh, we don't even have um, good locations in central uh, post parts because those are like you know diplomatic enclaves so how do you really solve that that how do you make sure that you know uh, because this is one problem that we have because most of the offices are peripheral uh, in the periphery of the city we have had to had a lot of meetups that are you know not accessible to most people yeah le let's hear from chennai also so that we have the full quorum to the house yeah. so um is vijay kumar here Okay, so he's probably the right person to talk to. Um, I've attended a couple of Chennai Pi meetups. Um, I've spoken in both the meetups. They have pretty active uh, attendance averages about 80 to 100 people. It's a very nice uh, location. Um, I wouldn't say heart of the city, but accessible and all. The Institute of Mathematical Sciences, um, they host, the, they have nice auditorium. The facilities are nice. Power goes up, they have backup. So there's another uh, halls that they provide um, in case you know there's this this problem in the auditorium. Uh, Professor Rona Joy, who was here, he, he he also actively participates in that. So there's good parking. Um, the the way they uh, they approach the two people, Vijay Kumar and Shreyas, um, both of them help in organizing the events. They announce much ahead of time. For there are there are four 20 minute slot talks, and there's a tea break in between which are usually sponsored by some company. And then after that, there is time for lightning talks. So that's how they plan it. They announce it earlier. Uh, people uh, suggest. Then they add it in a GitHub project. So you can actually go, go and see all the talks that have taken place in the past meetups. They also have video recording, uh, thanks to the institute again. So you can actually go and, and watch. Uh, sometimes. Uh, May not, uh, they may not be able to record, uh, so we, they ask the, the speakers to do a screen record session and then send them the videos, which they do post-production, and then they upload in Vimeo.com. So they also encourage uh, newcomers, because generally they are like very reluctant to come forward. They're like, you don't know what people might say or what the audience might think. But we they encourage them to do lightning talks first and then go to 20-minute talks. But it's, we don't do any basic talks. It's like people, startups or companies that people actually do Python in production, they, they come forward. Most of the time, the, the, the four slots get filled up so fast, so they have to move the talks to the next month's meet. So location, infrastructure, uh, parking facility, good support from uh, the professors, and uh, the location is very nice, and uh, you can approach from different parts of the city. But that's just the gist of it. You must really talk to Vijay Kumar, um, see, see how he handles things. There. Sorry? Um, I, 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 I don't know if they do any profiling or anything like that. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, in, yeah, in, the Institute of Mathematical Sciences in Taramani, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, can, I don't know the answer to that question. But yeah, we do have a lot of students close to the high tech park also. So a lot of people from companies come over. Okay. Uh, can I make a comment? Who? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Ajit. Uh, you know, inspiration or something like this. So what we do is, we'll give a 15 minutes, you know, slot in the beginning for the host or the venue sponsor to talk about logistics. <laughs> so what they're gonna give on the day: tea, coffee, lunch, and importantly, where is the restroom? Is where is the exit? So all these things, and they can talk about why they are using this particular. Python or whatever that would be, how they actually help you. And you know, some people, some companies, they doesn't have any commercial interest or motivation. They don't want to hire it. Just they would say that and go. Some people will say, okay, we have open for hiring, and uh, they will say that okay, so I will be available throughout this one. So if you need to explore more about, it, you can just come and talk to us. Or there is a HR over there. There is a hiring manager over there. You can just talk to them, talk to them. So this kind of a thing, it's again, it's an, kind of an ecosystem so that people comes over there, you know, to make sure that, you know, they will get inspired, motivated to see that, you know, you're learning something that is used in actually in the industry and you're getting a lot of jobs out of it. Yeah. Uh, regarding uh, large cities, I have one suggestion. 
is to um, just how, how we do decentralized version control systems. You can have, uh, let's say, weekend Python session meetups, but at different locations in the city, but do a round robin. So that in a single month, you're able to cover like, four corners of a city, perhaps. But again, the, the main, main thing is you need to have ground level volunteers who can come, make sure the hall is there, make sure there's power, uh, give directions for people who are coming in, and organize the talks and all that. So you, you really, really need people on the ground, volunteers who can you know get things organized and move on. So that is one suggestion. If you have a very large city and you're not able to travel long distances, you can have multiple meetups. So uh, my name is Kushal Das. And I'm going to represent a completely different kind of group with a different name, actually. So the name of the group is Linux Users Group of Durgapur. As you can understand, it's not a Python user group name-wise. Uh, we started in 2004, and as you, are, uh, as you can understand from the name, we started as a Linux user group. Uh, but then as soon as we started, within a year and a half, uh, the whole target area changed. So the motto of our group is, uh, it's in a Bengali word, it's Sekho Ebong Shekhao. That means learn yourself and teach others. Because we never had anyone to teach us at that time. And uh, the funny part is now that even though it's named Linux Users Group of Durgapur, so most of the people who are the member of this group are not in Durgapur. And we don't have most of the problems people discussed here. A uh, couple of reasons, because, because we, are a, uh, we are completely a virtual group. That means we don't have a problem of space. The space is there in has DGPLUG, uh, an IRC channel. We don't have any problem with people coming in because it's open for everyone. We can handle really huge amount of people inside the channel. Uh, for say about, we heard about another issue, correct, where people are like, you are missing people who can come and give a talk. We don't have that problem because in our channel, we get always get all the upstream developers from all the various projects. So you name a project, we can tell like who is the nearest person, or we generally get the people who actually started the project come to the channel and give a talk. So from 2008, we are actually organizing an online summer course, which is almost f more than three months, uh, where we teach people to be people, not students. So where we teach people how to become upstream contributors. So the goal is only one, nothing, only learn what are the technologies people are using in upstream projects and become an upstream contributor. And that's how we manage to get keep getting new people in to the group. And, and the thing is that, and we don't say like, you know, there is a, these people and are that people in the group. We generally try to become a, like a family. And we have so many upstream contributors now from our group and we use primarily Python. So even in the summer training, we start from how to uh, how to communicate. I mean, you know, uh, there are many people here who are in bank pipers and in PyCon list. So one of the biggest re thing we start talking is like, don't talk post. Start with bottom posting or inline reply. Write in full English words. We start from there. We teach people how to use different editors, and then we move into programming. And we try to te teach people how to use programming that is using Python to solve your daily life issues. Like we try to give them funnier problems which they can solve with the programming language. And end of the pro those three months, and this three months training is almost every night, or these last two years, it's three days, uh, three nights in a week. It's from 6.30 to maybe 9.30 or maybe even late. On IRC, completely you can do it from your home. You don't have to get out anywhere. What you need is a modern Linux distribution with Python and internet. So our group is large in that way because even this year we started with uh, like 150 people all across the globe. So now we don't only do Indian students. There are people from outside India also participate in the same group. And they not only participate, so the next years they generally become sometimes trainers. So they come back and they do training. So I know like almost two years back we had a uh, music student from Spain who did uh, his course here and he, he become mostly, he does now Flask web app application development other than music. So this year we had his girlfriend uh, who is also, she's doing in London School of Music or something, or Ox School of Ox Oxford School of Music, somewhere in London, uh, that area. So run of people like you see Chandan, Sayan, and there are a lot of other people here as volunteers. And uh, so our actual face-to-face -face meet is PyCon India. So if you know, like every year we meet in the staircase, which we did today morning, 11.30. So we have a group of people every year, new students coming up. And there are a few students sitting here who did like this year's summer training. So they already started putting, pushing patches to various upstream projects. And our target is only one thing, like do only upstream projects. Don't try to do anything small in the local area because that's the only way you can get a big name for yourself. You can get a better job and many other people will look at you and they also want to try to become you. So we are in pretty good shape. 
I can simply, I can be, I'm, I'm really happy to say that. We are in pretty good safe every year. There are so many people who wants to come and act like that. And as you said, the ecosystem, and then following this, the ecosystem built up. So now we have friends all across, correct? Everyone know each other. So when people are asking, hey, can you tell me a good Python developer who is good in system programming, or someone is coming with a good web development, so we can actually push these guys uh, into these different companies, and they're getting hired and working on, still working on various upstream projects. So for us, uh, community first, and uh, please work on upstream projects rather than you know only writing small small projects. So, yeah. So this is the eighth year of the summer training. Just in case, so we are doing it for eight years. Yes, everything is available online. Yes. Yeah, so uh, see, the b that's where we try to put it up very much is that we are doing everything on IRC, nothing else. So you have to come online. And so people, even this year, people try to cheat by saying, oh, we'll read the logs. So that can only go up to a certain level where you're learning maybe syntax or how to use the tool. But when we are actually solving problems and you know you have an issue with the code and people are live debugging, helping you to debug that code, that never happens over any kind of log or textbook. It can only happen like, like that direct interaction. Yeah, Sakti, Sakti also helps us in that DigiBiology directly. So, uh, I have a presentation uh, just quite popular among GSOC students, especially. It's called I Want to Do Project. Tell me what to do. Written in SMS speak language. Yeah. So <coughs> that's been circulated in many mailing lists. So I, I would encourage you to go through the presentation. There's also a book based on that presentation if you want to. I would encourage you to buy the book, actually. He's not. But I'm telling you, buy the book, at least one copy. Read it. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> So uh, let's move on, and uh, yeah, I think we have enough data points now. So one, Kiran, come. Hi. So I've been attending a few Chennai Pi meetups. Right. Uh, so what I observe is um, usually people are more comfortable asking on the meetup.com comments instead of the mailing list. Uh, I guess since they're used to the comment thing. So a uh, lot of people kept asking, like, uh, is it good? I mean. Can a beginner attend this? Uh, can an intermediate person attend? So what we, uh, what Vijay did was, he tried experimenting for like three, four months by conducting workshops. Uh, like our meetups are from three to five thirty, or it goes to six. So he used to he conducts workshops from ten to twelve. So people who don't know Python can come get an idea, and then they can, uh, and then they come to a three o'clock session and kind of meet people. Uh, so that's one thing he tried. And the second thing he recently experimented was he uh, sends out an email to a few people who are regularly attending and sort of gets an idea what they're interested in. So what is the key, uh, so what are the key things you work on? So it can be web development, it can be embedded system. So he gets those, he gets a picture of those things and he talks about it. He just tells them, okay, so if you're interested in this thing, so this guy seems to be working on this so-and-so project and things. Uh, as such, and because of that, uh, when we go for tea break, it's it's pretty sure no one will be just standing idle. So they'll go talk to someone, get some ideas, or get the direction from someone. So that's another thing that has worked out for them. Yeah. Great. Uh, see, uh, uh, whatever the meetups are happening, right? I see. Uh, uh, it's not mostly relevant to the uh, training meetups. See, what I see, like. Uh, wherever we go and wherever I see all the Python meetups, it's mostly relevant to some topics or something relevant to Django. And uh, it's not related to some startups events, uh, wherein like you guys can come up and uh, host an event, how to create an MEP using Python, how to create a uh, scalable web app using Python. So in which way what happens, right? It will help community to uh, travel towards innovation. It's not, it shouldn't be only learning and uh, teaching. So that's one thought I have. Yeah. So uh, hi, I am Satyajit. I am from Nagpur, Maharashtra. I uh, got into this whole Meetup thing like uh, two years ago when Meetup.com like was the thing. That's how I got introduced to this whole concept. And I noticed that in Nagpur, uh, the first uh, Meetup group to start was this group called Nagpur Techies, and uh, and then as soon as that group was discovered, the first event had like 15 attendees, and then it slowly trickled down. But then some people figured out that you could create your own meetup group. So then instantly we had a surge in meetup groups. We had NetBeans user groups, Java user groups, and some other <laughs> and a lot of technologies. But the people who came to those groups were the same. So the same set of people came to all these groups. And now 
the all activities have stopped and the only group that is active right now again is Nagpur Techies and I'm actually the co-organizer of that group right now. Uh, so I just got an SMS from my uh, ma the main organizer from Nagpur. He said that he managed to get a sponsorship from JetBrains to sponsor a raffle, something that you can uh, get uh, a year-long subscription to JetBrains ID or something. So we are trying, but and we also don't have a location issue for at least 20 to 25 people because we have permanent location there. And Nagpur is a very relatively small city, so travel traveling is not much of a problem there. But still, we don't have a lot of people. And RSVPs obviously don't reflect the people who are going to come. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah. I have a suggestion. Um, is it possible that uh, like a lot of people are like hesitant to come to certain events like Bank Fibers events or like PyCon is being too far? Is it possible to live stream the event or certain talks that can be live streamed? Okay, okay. On uh, on another note, uh, it's I'm talking about something different. Uh, can we arrange uh, some kind of podcasts for uh, like certain topics that uh, a particular uh, subject matter expert will be speaking, or we can record it, we can upload it on any SoundCloud or somewhere so that a user can maybe a kind of an interview, uh, uh, like one-to-one -one conversation? So yeah, I have certain other points to cover. So let's walk through them. So one of the big things uh, in since last two years, I've been hearing about the women participation in the user group. So how has it been? Like, is it growing? Do you see them, the numbers grow or? 50% or more are women. So we have a pretty good turnout there. And um, so even this year, so when we started, we started the summer training with 150 plus students on the first day of the IRC channel. But if you see the number of people who are committing and who are actually coming and talking to the people, there is a pretty good number of girls. Uh, so uh, we don't have a problem directly. And that mostly because um, uh, most of our active members are from the colleges. And right. they're, um, the girls do much better than the boys. Okay. What about bank papers? Like you have, what is the ratio like? Yeah. Um, so let's say out of you get 50 people, so two to three people. I'll share my personal experience. So I am a Java plus Python kind of a developer. My wife is a .NET developer. Mm -hmm. Assume that what will happen in the hope if you are having <laughs> a technical discussion. Yeah, it's a .NET. Okay. <laughs> so we are a group of friends, childhood friends from the uh, schools that are three other people, uh, you know, all of their wives are .NET developers, <laughs> okay? So our guys are, you know, a guy is a Python developer, other guy is a system administrator, so he works with Linux, other guy is a core C developer who writes device drivers. Think about it, you know, so we go to our native together, so think about all these concepts. We tried a lot to convert them, so we are still doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> Pure personal, sir. Okay. Okay. I think we are about to close after Satya's comments. I have yeah. only one point to make. So if you are a volunteer, be nice t to the all the people in the community. Tolerant. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be very tolerant. You should, the tolerance level should be high. Even should be always polite. I'll give you an. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me convert. So, yeah. Or one example. Assume that you are doing a Python workshop. You started at ten o'clock. You are trying to do with you know decorators, functional programming. Eleven o'clock, a guy rises at the back saying that you know he calls you. So you stop th this one and you're going over there. He's asking. Uh, so I download the you know Python uh, live uh, yeah Python interpreter, Python VM or maybe the software. Okay, so I have this laptop, Windows XP. It's a 32-bit operating system. I downloaded the 64-bit. So how can I install it? Think about you're doing an intermediate one, say a guy comes and he is asking for it. So what do you react at this time? Okay, so you're you're doing something, you came in the middle, so you will find people like that. And you're you're super into you're talking about all these uh, you know cool features in the Python and uh, all these things are possible. Someone will raise the hand and they'll say, you know, Ruby or Ruby on Rails has you know much powerful blah blah blah. You will try to start up, you know, literally a fight with you. To it's 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 about you know you have to be you have to be more polite. So these are the things that will happen. So don't ever get you know irritated or tempted or arguments. 
it's 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 you know what i did once i said that okay so python is ruby is like india is pakistan so i don't know what is which is india which is pakistan it will never an explain something like that you make a joke out of it just close it so we or you can say that we can talk offline sure. or something like that otherwise if you are getting into the arguments you are wasting other 50 60 people sitting over there sure. and the guy who with windows xp 32 bit 64 bit installation what you do is you need to get a volunteer if you are doing it so you are supposed to have another volunteer to yeah take care of him maybe you can sit with him you can have to explain him what is 32 bit what is 64 bit what is 32 bit operating system can i install 64 bit python vm on 32 bit processor or 32 bit operating system all these things you have to do you so most of them i do web related workshops so people won't know about what is http what is get and post sometimes you know you need to spend your time personally i can explain all these things so <laughs> So there are it's already things available, correct? Uh, software engineers, please do not apply kind of <laughs> things. So, yeah. So the other thing I was talking about, like uh, two groups are st suddenly started becoming pretty much active in India. So one of them is PyLadies, the T-shirt I'm wearing on. So different college students are mostly finding it out about PyLadies, and they find it's very easy to start a group, and they are starting up with the meetups. And uh, please try to remember one thing: none of these groups is only for the girls, even though the name sounds like that. It's these groups are pretty much open groups. They o are open to everyone. So even for the guys, uh, I mean boys and girls from the college. So if you see any of those groups coming up in your area, so please help them out to have their meetups. They may not have the good talent to start doing the trainings and the stuff. And the other group which started in the similar fashion is the Django Girls. So I think Django Girls Pune was the first meetup. Uh, so they select like, uh, so you have to apply and then they select around 40 people who can learn python and django in the day and then start working on the projects i think the next meetup is in uh, bombay uh, either in october or in november i th i don't know whether the dates have been, have been announced so uh, please go and check that website also djangogirls.com/mumbai i guess so if you you can if you want to uh, do the similar kind of events in your city just talk to these two groups and start working with them uh, they are pretty much welcoming community i can tell you that one thing So I think we are running out of time, and we don't have answers to all the questions or the problems we just talked about. Uh, I think we, all of you agree, right? Yes or no? Yes. So I, I, I call it a more of a journey. You know, it's not a end to the it. Like you know, this is the last PyCon, or like now I have to do it. Yeah, that sense of urgency is very, very important when getting things done. and yeah i work in the same fashion like i set up the deadline and say that hey this has to be done by now right otherwise things do never get done and the other thing which i like about shakti is one of the things like you know like no matter how many people turn up don't worry about them keep on doing things that i think that is one of the most important take away you know which i have learned in this life like again the same what nagpur guy said right uh, the same faces i i have seen it for last 20 25 years same faces turning up for the all the events you know wherever they go the community becomes very active so don't lose your heart like you can be one of them and be the leader you know but because i am interested in seeing those faces and any support from all of us in any way possible you know we don't have solutions but yes we have enough resources and the energy to go and get it done I think that's that's one of the biggest takeaway, and I think as a community, like there will be a lot of naysayers, like this is all waste of time, <laughs> or you know, like I don't have time, you know. But but <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen people, you know, like who are sitting on the fences. I call them, you know, they come up for the meetup, like when they see things happening. So make it happen, make it rock, and hopefully we'll see you next year again. And whenever you go to any of these. areas like whenever you try to at least i try to do that you know call up friends at uh, 10 20 people and have a meet up you know just pop up and say yeah, let's let's meet up over beer or like whatever you know so i think that's that's how it is and that's how it will continue and uh, various groups are at different levels and uh, they have their own challenges like uh, i think they have to be addressed at a local level there is nothing like uh, universal uh, pill for elixir for everything there is nothing like that so everything everyone is doing well i think locally we have to start uh, 
dividing the problem just the way we program, you know, break up into small, small chunks and start addressing with the existing resources. And yes, that is one point which I think this year PSSI also will be telling us and like whatever the kind of support we need to get from, is it happening? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just joking. So I think that is one thing which, again, I'm personally at my level because there is a lot of people who are looking at PSSI as an organization because one of the things uh, I've seen is managing the money. You know, when, when, when somebody wants to fund an event, a small event, big event, how do we manage that? People don't know. Right, right, right. So I think that's that's the structure we will come out with. Like like PSSI can be like BCCI or whatever. I know. <laughs> we don't want BCCI. You don't want BCCI. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. So yeah. So those those kind of things are available, and uh, yeah, I think those problems have been already solved. Just focus on the building of the communities and try to solve the technical issues on the upstream side. I think that's that's a good good thing to do. Okay, that's all for this session and hopefully everyone enjoyed. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. clap for yourself. Thank you. <laughs>